Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you are new here, I always forget to say this, and I, I usually go, hey guys, it's Monica. But I usually don't introduce myself to the new folks joining me. And I know I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately, so I just want to say, Welcome to all of you folks that are new to my little YouTube spot in the world, my little little home on YouTube. And thank you so much for joining me. So I tried to do a get ready with me. I'm gonna kind of insert the clips. I mean, it really was ridiculous. I looked like a clown. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna like sort of insert the clip. And whenever I do a get ready with me, I do it the exact same way. I always have my mascara on and I usually do my mascara, I prime my uh, lashes, and this morning I did, I used my Essence Lash Princess and the Essence Primer. That's what I had on my, my eyes, and then I decided I was going to try to do a get ready with me. Anyways, this is actually a little bit of haul and a little bit of chit chat. One thing that I want to mention to you guys, and I think most of you know this, this has been a tough week for YouTube. One of our treasured members this week lost her son. <sighs> It, it was devastating, devastating for her. And the outpouring of love that the members of the community or the folks, subscribers, all of you people that watch our videos, the outpouring of love and concern for Marlene Fab and Glam has been heartwarming to see the rallying of the community members and, and how, touch it, how touched everyone has been by Marlene's tragedy of her son. It doesn't matter how old a child is. When you lose a child, it is devastating. So many of you have reached out on Instagram, on Facebook, and even on YouTube to me to find out if I knew any of the arrangements, if there was any kind of, where could, what could they do, you know, um, is there anything that we, they can donate in his name? And at this point in time, and I don't know for sure, I'll certainly add it if I know for sure before this goes live, but at this point in time, the family is going to, for anyone who wants to do a donation to a charity, they're looking at doing it to a animal shelter. There's, they've got a place in mind where any donations in John's name will go to caring of the animals that he cared so deeply about. So it's like perfect, perfect choice. So once we know more about that, we'll definitely post it. I think Marlene will probably talk about it as well when she's ready to come back. In the interim, you know, she's felt all your love. She's felt all your love. Really awesome. Anyways, on to other news. For those of you that know about my dad, my dad is still in rehab. He has good days. He has bad days. Some days we think we're getting there, then we get set back. So this week was a very tough week. Tough week. And uh, so continue prayers for my dad. We're, we're hoping that we're hoping that things get better. Um, anyways, I did a little mini haul. Now I don't usually do hauls, right? <laughs> right? I don't usually do hauls. Anyways, I have in the state of New Hampshire, we have tax free up here. So I have three outlets somewhat nearby. One is much further away, but when I was up north this week teaching, I went to one of the outlets on my way back and they, they just opened up a cosmetic company outlet store there. I was like over the moon because this is a really famous outlet area, the Tilton Outlets in New Hampshire, and people go there from, you know, all over the place. So they've never had that before. So I went in there and everything in their store that in stuff that was on sale was on was had an additional 50% off everything so and I know like I got this palette from Mac they had a bunch of Mac products they had a bunch of Estee Lauder products that oh my gosh Clinique uh, Tom Ford uh, every, I mean amazing amazing products so anyways it's brand new they call it a pop-up store so I don't know if it's going to be there long term or if they just sort of popped it up for the holidays I have no idea so I went in there and I looked at the palette. I wanted something with a little bit more color. I ended up getting this. This is from MAC, Rocking Rebel. This has been around a while, it's not new. It's, but for me, this is like really bold, bold colors. So I went in, I looked at it and I said, oh, you know, I, I saw the blues, the green, the slate, the glitter, the highlight, the glow. I saw all of that and I said, do you think I can pull a look off? So I bought it and just so you know, you know, if this was new, you'd be paying, I don't know, 40 some odd bucks. You can get this pretty reasonable. I paid in the cosmetic company store $19 for it. I thought that was, that was a good buy. 
I, I happen to like MAC shadows. Sheila from Simply Sheila from A Life with Lily had given me a little MAC palette when we got together in, in South Carolina. We had the most gr amazing girls weekend down there. Amazing girls weekend. For those of you that are new, I'll link the videos. Sheila had given me a MAC palette. I loved it. I loved the quality. I loved how it worked. So when I saw MAC, I saw this, I said, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go for it. So I got these colors. And then I looked at them and I said, oh, am I going to be able to make them work? And that's what I did. What I have on my shadow, t my eyes today is I started with this. These things are pigmented like crazy. So I used this kind of a bluish color. Then I used the slate color. Then I did a little pop of this. And because this is a highlighter, I really, I didn't use that. I just now I'm putting it on my cheeks. I put, I went and I got my Wet n Wild Brulee. I put that all over my lid. I kind of had to really work this in, tone it down, tone it down, tone it down. But I bought this. I thought it was a great buy. The other thing I bought was more Estee Lauder. Now, in the cosmetic company store that I went to, this was 50% off. Each of these cost me 20 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good buy. I paid for drugstore foundations as much as like my kick-ass foundation that I like. That's not on sale. That's 16 bucks. My number seven boots not on sale is 16 bucks. So to be able to get my Estee Lauder for 20 bucks in my shade is a no-brainer for me. I know how this wears. I know how this lasts. I know how it builds up. Well, I thought that was really really cool i really liked it i also ran out of my buxom i love this this is my buxom this is white russian and i pretty well have scraped the dregs out of this this is nothing left i ran out of it i love it so i have used many times in the past hard candy i like hard candy so i went and i got myself three hard candy glosses i wanted to see because what i do with these glosses is i really don't expect them to I don't expect them to pump up my lips to give me all sorts of volume. I really don't. What I'm looking for is how do they feel on me? Are they tacky? How do they wear on me? How do they look on me? Do they lighten up a darker color? I like my lips light. I don't like them dark. So I got three of them and I'm telling you, this one's really nice and light. I love them. I love them. You cannot beat the price. I've worn them. Here I am layering. This is what I do, guys. I'm just like a layering person. Hmm. Anyways, I really love them. I'll list the colors below if anyone is really curious about that. But I thought that was really, really nice. I also got this week, I, I bought myself another e.l.f. blush brush. I didn't really need one, but I bought one. I don't know why. I mean, you know, I really didn't need one. <laughs> I did and I one of you when I talked in one of my previous videos about looking for a lip scrub and I talked about how I really like that pure in the tube and then I went and I ended up buying this tart one and I really like this tart one a lot but I just didn't like the fact that you always have to dip your fingers in it it's almost actually I've used it so much it's it's pretty low so one of you said check out elf so I went to elf and I got their, their lip. This is the exact same thing. This is their sugar scrub. It actually goes on clear. So it's not like there's a real color there. But it's a sugar scrub. It's not as, it's more of a harder, firmer consistency. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't look bad. It does give you a scrub because it is a firmer consistency. And it is a tube. So it's great in a pinch. This is softer. Tastes a little bit better. Of course it's what four times the amount of money so i did try it i did like it i don't like it as much as the tart but i like the price point a lot better and i will pack this in my bag and i will continue to to use it for sure so i like that a lot the other thing that i ended up getting this week and some of you know i've talked about this company called julia they had reached out to me and said would you like to pick something and i i have shown this ring i'll show you a picture of this ring. I picked this ring out. I actually like it a lot. I think it's really super pretty and I've worn it. I've actually had compliments on it. You know, I, I am a blingy person. I do like to have a little bling. So anyways, they reached out to me and said, would you like to pick an other piece? Because I think I said in there that I would like to pick a piece that's close to my own wedding band. So my own wedding band, of course, you know, it's not going to be as clean as sparkly. And I have two, but one, uh, one of my bands is not not um here so i've got the little band i've got two bands and i have my my ring 
and then the two bands. So these are my, my real rings. So they had said to me, would I like to pick something? So I said, sure. And what they've done this time is they are giving me a, a giveaway. So the giveaway to one of you is going to be $60 in product. Now, if you see something you like more, you can pay the difference and you can get something more. This ring I ordered in it and I was really worried about it because I wasn't too sure how it would fit. Cause you know, when you have the wider bands, you know, then you need to usually have a, a larger ring. This one that I got originally from them is a size seven and that's a little bit big on my finger. This one, I chose a six and a half and it actually fits really good. I haven't taken it apart, but it's two separate bands. I still have the tag on there. It's two separate bands and it is, it's got the little di diamond look all along the side and it's got the diamond is cushion in the middle, just like my band. My band looks quite different next to it because this is very, very clean, very, very shiny, where my band is very, very dirty and needs a good cleaning and, and all of that. So I like this. So my whole thing is if I travel somewhere, I would use that I would bring this and I would leave my good jewelry behind you know how you go somewhere and you don't want to bring your good stuff yeah so anyways if you're interested in this giveaway from Julia you need to leave in the comments below I would like to win the Julia giveaway and then we'll pick whoever the winner is and they will give you uh, up to $60 in sort of a credit you will have to pay shipping most of their stuff is pretty reasonable if you like jewelry you can go on to their website they've got a lot of different bands they've actually got colored stones they've also got necklaces they've got a bunch of different things so they're not paying me for this but they did send me this free this is not sponsored I don't have a coupon code where I make any money or anything like that but I wanted to share this with you. I thought it was I thought it was really, really pretty. I also bought this week cuddle duds. <laughs> Do you guys know cuddle duds? I love cuddle duds. So I bought cuddle duds. I have a cuddle dud sweater from QVC that I got, and it's that. It's a plaid one. You've probably seen me wear it often. So I wanted to have a solid one. So, so I get a black one, and it's a little wrinkly because it just arrived. And I also got a maroon one. I love these cuddle duds. They're like these big, fluff, not fluffy, but these big, like fleecy material. They're great for layers. So when I saw them on QVC, I said, yeah, I'm getting my cuddle dud. They have this like big collar and they have pockets and they even have, we can bring your thumb through, which I thought was really super, super cool. So cuddle duds, I got two of those. And um, Jay was going, uh, you've been shopping because all these packages were coming in. And I'm like going, uh-huh. Yeah, so that's really it. I, I've been shopping, but I haven't done a whole lot. I, I, I just thought I would share with you my attempt at a different eye look. And this is the blue. I used the blue, the slate, the glitters in here. Oh, and one other thing I got in the cosmetic company store. And this is a, a MAC brush holder. So I thought this was kind of cool. Cosmetic brush holder. So when you travel or whenever you're doing anything and I bought it because I want it, I'm traveling and this is a, it holds a brush. Well, I, you know, I really don't know about the true original price of this, but the ticket said like $79 and I got it. It was on markdown and it was on clearance and I still had the 50% off from the cosmetic company. So I paid $10 for this. So I thought this was a really good buy. It is a brush holder from MAC and it wraps up like this and you can put all your brushes in here. I think so. I thought this was a really good buy. I had fun shopping this week. I definitely did. So anyways, thank you all so much for joining me and stay tuned for the how I put my topper on for those of you that want. And um, I was super psyched with what I got at the cosmetic company store. Anyways, guys, thanks so much. Stay tuned for the topper. I'll see you in my next video. Here, this is the the topper that I got from Uni Wigs. Many of you have seen this before. You've heard me talk about this before, and I've had a number of you ask me, "Can can I show how I put it on?" 
So I did. I filmed myself sitting here putting on my topper so you can see without, my hair was not fixed, it was just very, very plain, but you can see what it looks like without this particular topper and you can see how I put it on. Most of the hair that you're seeing here is mine, my own hair. Um, the topper just kind of covers and gives you a little bit more volume on the top if that's what you need. And there's many, many different types of toppers. There's some that have no bangs. There's some that have a lot of bangs. Well, I have like a good amount of these bangs uh, from the topper, but I also have my own bangs hanging hanging down. Anyways, I really like it. I said because many of you wanted to see how I actually attached my Bella hair topper. I absolutely love this hair topper. It's very, very natural. It has the pressure clips that you put on that you can snap. You do have to be like super careful when you remove this. I'm gonna show you the best I can without having the appropriate mirror here to do it. But this was actually sent to me from Uniwigs and this is a human hair topper. They ended up cutting a, a few little wisps of bangs in here for me. And I have had this slightly trimmed and slightly thinned out. So my hair is undone here. Normally I'm just going to kind of comb it a little bit so you can see. And then I normally take this right in the middle, right where the middle clip is, and I'm going to kind of line it up to my hair. And before I clip it down, I'm going to look to see how it is positioned because I want it to be as close to my hairline as I can be and I also want it to be as natural looking as I can get it. I don't want it to be looking like I have, you know, a mop sitting on top of my head. So I'm going to take the, if this is where I want it, and sometimes I do this several times. I clip it in. Sometimes I unclip it, I reclip it. Now, if I'm in between, say, going to the hairdressers and I have a lot of grays, I'm really careful how I comb it, to be honest with you, because I don't want all my grays to show. But I normally play around with it, and like I might, I pull out a lot of my own hair. I don't know if you noticed it when I clipped it on, but you've got my hair mixed in. And because this has the bangs cut into it already, like, I don't wear it like this. I don't have heavy bangs. As you know, I have a very high forehead. And I want to make sure a, that I'm secure and that I have this positioned in the spot that I really want it to be positioned. Now, I can take a curling iron and I can curl the, the edges. I have done this, but this is the human hair. So the styling of this is just very much like your own hair and you would just style it however you really want to. I have worn this clipped back in a ponytail. I've worn this clipped up. I've worn it several different ways. Now I'm looking in a camera thing. I have no idea how this looks in reality. I normally would be looking at my mirror. I would be turning it you know, turning around, looking at the back, then making sure that I'm quite secure. These, surprisingly, these clips actually hold super, super well. Super, super well. So, that's how I actually put this on. Let me just tell you a little bit about this. This is Uniwigs Bella Virgin Remy Human Hair. It's a six by six silk base top, and it has those snaps, six by six, I've got the snaps that go around, they're the clip. It attaches very, very easily. When you take it off, you have to unsnap, unpressure snap the, the clips. And the way I normally do it is I remove one at a time. I, un, I unsnap them all and then I loosen it up and I gently lift it up because I, I don't want my, my own hair at all pulling. What do you think? <laughs> So I actually really like this a lot. I do, I like this a lot. I've been outside, I've worn a hat, I've worn a scarf, I've worn a couple of different looks with this.